I just want to make a quick short video for guys um, who want to know more about the workstation cards versus the gaming cards when it comes to um, working in After Effects, Premiere, and then also playing some games. Um, I do a lot of work in After Effects and Adobe Premiere, and then I play a little Star Citizen. So I kind of wanted to try out the, I have the MSI uh, GTX 1070 Ti, and then I have a workstation card, which is the Quadro P4000. From NVIDIA and this is for a lot more of like my um, work and from what I know about the workstation cards is they're they don't have a like quick response rate like the gaming cards do but they handle uh, handle render times a lot better and heavy workloads so um, the P4000 has all display ports also and like a gaming card, you have more variety of HDMI, DVI, and display. So um, we're gonna kind of run some tests on these and see and see which ones um, work better for what applications. I know you can use this as my work card for my computer at work, and this is gonna be for my home computer because I do a, more stuff at home. But I mean, also I do a lot of heavy um, stuff at work too. I just, I didn't know about the workstation cards when I first got into this and I just bought a gaming card. Yes, it has CUDA cores, a bunch of them, and it can handle the the, um, the working in Photoshop and After Effects, but sometimes I think it runs a little slower, but let's test it out and see what happens. So I just kind of want to make it like a mental note about this card, let's get a little higher. So this thing barely fit in this case, and this is, uh, a medium sized case. Look at that. I can see my reflection in the Aramax. But um, card is super big. So it's got some weight to it. I like the P4000 better. But if you're gaming, um, this is the Be Quiet case, I think 801. And I had to, I mean, you're, you know, this could possibly be moved up there if I had to. So it does fit and it will fit. But um, yeah, just a little, little bulky. Alright, we're in here with the 1070 Ti GeForce. Let's um, run an After Effects deal and let's say, let's do 20 seconds. See how long this takes. Um, we're on full resolution here and I have all the stuff hooked up. And so let's go. All right, so we're back, and this render took a minute, 43.85. So I'm going to save this time, um, and now it's playing smooth, full resolution. So minute 43 seconds is about what it took uh, to render this. So let's, um, let's close out of this. I'm not going to save this at all. Hey guys, we are playing Star Marine on Star Citizen, and we are playing it on super high quality GTX 1070 Ti. And let's see if this thing actually. So far, the game's running pretty smooth. I played it a minute a uh, minute ago, but and sometimes I think it's glitching, but I I don't think it's the card. It's got to be um their server, so. see if I can actually get a kill in this game since I don't ever really play this and I probably suck at PC games since I play PS4 all the time. Oh snap. Maybe there's just nobody in here. Alright, we are in the space and we are flying the Aurora. So far this card is working great. So, I don't see any problems. I think when I get in the main game, it um runs me all kind of problems, but you got a lot of people in there playing. So, I think that we can say that the 1070 Ti is obviously what it's made for. Way better for gaming, and I'm about to crash.
So anyways, those are my tests with the 1070 Ti. Uh, thanks for watching the 1070 Ti part. All right, we are going to run same test with the P4000. I'm going to run a full. And um, so here we go. And timer's on. Let's go. As you can see, it's pulling more memory, 30% um, memory, 15% uh, graphics, and we get 58 seconds on the P4000. 58 seconds. So there is a difference in the workstation card versus... Um, Let's go look at my other screenshots today. The 1070 Ti was a minute 43. The other little graphics card was a minute 40, which is weird because that graphics card sucked. And then we got 58, maybe even 59 seconds because I stopped it like a second early. But um, yeah, 40 second difference. That's a big deal. All right, we're going to run some other tests. All right, let's run a benchmark on the P4000. All right, there we have it. Um, score 1782, max frame 78. So it's lower than the 1070 Ti, but honestly, it felt like it ran smoother, but I could be just wrong. Save that to documents. All right, so here's kind of my synopsis on the two cards. Obviously, the, um, the P4000 score was 1782, max frame was 78.3. I guess average was 42. Then if you go to the 1070 Ti, frame rate 56, score is 2357, max frame rate 108. So um, for Star Citizen, it seemed that it, it did run, you know, a little smoother. It did seem like the frame rate was a lot better with the 1070 Ti. As far as just the response when I was playing um, the Call of Duty part, whatever that's called, of Star Citizen. Um, and then the flying, the flying's okay with the P4000. So gaming is, um, yeah, Star Marine is what I'm thinking about, was not that great on the P4000. Quick response time, but like I said, you get into After Effects. And you're running the P4000. That is the card that definitely sped up the workflow. Just for a 20 second clip, you're taking off, um, I think, like 40 seconds. So imagine you working on a bigger project in After Effects. And um, I know my video probably sucks, but it is going to get better as time goes on because I'm gonna I want to bring value to you guys and things that help questions that I had when I was building a computer and you know I love After Effects and I love the game so I'm like man how do I get the best of both worlds so we'll kind of do this journey together and I've already built two thread rippers and so I feel like I've got a little water under my belt on um, just what I'm doing a little bit as far as some mistakes I've made for work I should have 
got a workstation card, but kind of glad I got the 1070 Ti so I could test it out. But anyways, you live and learn. Um, and I'm sure as time goes on, I'll even figure some more out. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Also, real quick, we're going to run the little guy. He's the uh, EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti. Um, it's kind of an older model. Um, it's got a mini HDMI and like two DVI um, ports out. But I want to run this card on the Threadripper just because I want to see if the card can like, because I put both cards, I put my workstation card and I put this guy in there and see if if he can run the games for like Star Citizen that I like to play and the Quattro P4000 can run all my work. So um, we will see. All right, so we got the little squirt in there now. Let's see. 650. All right, now we are running the um, GeForce uh, 650. Alright, we're back. Here's the phone. Um, okay, so let's change this over to full. And we're going to do the same as the other test with the 1080, sorry, 1070 Ti, but now we're going to uh, do the 650. When I bought the box, I'm, I almost could have sworn it was a 650 Ti, but I don't think it matters at this point because it's so old. So let's uh, reset this and go. And here we're going coming to the end and let's stop. A uh, minute and 40 seconds with that piece of crap um, graphics card on it. Man, I'm kind of surprised that it went that fast. All right, we are in the game with 650, and holy crap, it is slow. Wow, yeah. Um, didn't do, do too bad for After Effects, but this is pretty bad. So yeah, so, uh, Star Citizen just killed this graphics card, so we can run a, a benchmark test. Yeah, that's um, All right, so the 650 didn't do bad in After Effects, but um, I, that's because After Effects is mainly um, ran by RAM.